this is gonna hurt. Welcome everyone, my name is Sean, and today we're gonna be talking about the very, very unfortunate Hyatt category changes that were just announced. These are going to lead to a absolutely massive devaluation of Hyatt points. So if you're unaware, the World of Hyatt program has eight categories for its hotels, ranging from category one for the most budget options and up to category eight for the most luxury. Now, typically how this program worked was the category one to seven hotels were reserved for World of Hyatt owned hotels specifically. And category eight hotels were reserved for the small luxury hotels of the world collection that Hyatt has partnered with. Now a standard rate night for a category seven hotel goes for 30,000 Hyatt points. But a standard rate for a category eight hotel goes for 40,000, a 33% increase over the category seven. So before these category changes, you could pretty much book any World of Hyatt property you wanted for a maximum of 30,000 points a night. This included absolutely ridiculous options such as Alila Ventana Big Sur, Alila Napa Valley, the Park Hyatt in New York, etc. But as of today, Hyatt is no longer going to treat this category eight as reserved for the small luxury hotels of the world collection. Which means that unfortunately, a standard rate night at a lot of their top tier properties will now be at 40,000 points instead of that 30,000 points. It might not sound like that much, but it's a 33% increase. And this change is taking place in basically a month. Okay, so you might wonder which hotels are being affected by this. Well, unfortunately, some of the best points redemptions in the world are going to be changed by this. Such as Alila Ventana Big Sur going up from a absolute steal of 30,000 points to an still absolute steal of 40,000 points. This is still a great deal considering the hotel costs around $2,000 a night for any room there. Also, Alila Napa Valley is going up to category eight. The Park Hyatt in New York is going to category eight. The Park Hyatt Kyoto and the Park Hyatt Tokyo are all going to category eight. And even the Andaz in Maui is going to category eight. Not that anyone could ever really stay there on points in the first place. To be honest, this really does sting. Given that Hyatt had some insane redemption values, and a lot of these are still great, great values. It's just, it's painful. Especially considering they're also going to implement peak and off-peak pricing starting in March. Which means that a peak night at a category eight caps at 45,000 points, which is a 50% potential increase from before these changes. It's not all bad, however. There are some very interesting changes in some hotels on the lower end, particularly in Bali, Indonesia, where the Hyatt Regency Bali and the Grand Hyatt Bali, as well as some Alila properties, are being downgraded from category two to category one. It's only a difference of 3,000 points a night, but this represents a 37.5% decrease in the points rate. Meaning if you wanted to, let's say, spend 10 nights at the Hyatt Regency in Bali, it would only cost you 50,000 Hyatt points. Whereas before it would have been 80,000 Hyatt points. So it's not all bad. There is a little bit of a silver lining, but overall it does hurt a lot. Especially if you haven't tried some of those top tier properties like Alila Ventana or some of the famous Park Hyatts. I am a little thankful that the Grand Hyatt in Kauai isn't changing to a category seven at least. I did wanna try that soon. Now these changes are taking place in late March meaning you have about a one month period to book these hotels before the rates go up. Now, if you had already booked a hotel that is going down a category, then you will be refunded the difference in points as long as you booked the hotel before these changes take place for a stay that happens after these changes take place. Some notable properties that aren't changing in point values, as I said, the Grand Hyatt in Kauai, the Park Hyatt in the Maldives, and the Hyatt Regency in Maui. To be honest, I'm a little surprised that they are implementing this big devaluation, especially after implementing peak and off-peak pricing next month. It kind of feels like they're kicking us while we're down. One thing to note is I have a suspicion that there's going to be a new bonus on the World of Hyatt card starting next March. Given that that card has sat at the same bonus for a very long time, and it's been rather uncompetitive. So maybe that's something to look forward to. That's pretty much all I have, but let me know your thoughts on this devaluation below. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please hit the like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm pretty new to making YouTube videos and I'd really appreciate some feedback on how I could improve this channel.